up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm gold pony and today we are in the new 2020 chevy impala courtesy of turner chevrolet in harrisburg pa and so okay you guys word is this is going to be the very last year for the impala so there has been no better time to pick one up off the showroom floor than it is right now since this is the final year and actually there's plenty of changes for the 2020 impala as well so we'll be going over all of them in this video so what do you say let's go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing all right so let's start with the first change there is no ls trim level for the 2020 impala it starts with the lt the one we have today starting at thirty two thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars and then you have the premier starting at thirty seven thousand five hundred ninety five dollars but regardless of trim level power plant for the 2020 impala will actually be the same powering this beast is going to be a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 305 horsepower at 6800 rpm 264 pound feet of torque available at 5200 rpm power is sent to the front wheels through a six speed automatic giving you a zero to 60 time approximately 6.7 seconds which you guys know we will be testing out a little bit here mpg numbers coming in at 18 in the city 28 on the highway that is kind of impressive for the size of the impala actually but having said all that now i think you guys know what we have to do next let's do a quick little acceleration test and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2020 impala here up to speed here we go <laughs> yep best word i could use to describe that acceleration was super smooth i guess that's two words isn't it but yeah it's certainly enough pickup to merge onto the highway or anything like that but dang that was a smooth acceleration it kind of reminds me of a hyundai v6 or even the camry v6 definitely one of the advantages to na engines you get that super smooth acceleration and the impala is no exception definitely very nice acceleration there was no loss of grip either there was no spinning even though this is a front wheel drive vehicle so well done chevy for that it's up but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so you will find of course four wheel disc brakes on the 2020 impala as far as the brake feel goes it's been perfectly fine to me a very smooth braking feel if you will but yeah definitely no issues with brake pedal delay or anything like that and as far as suspension and handling goes up front you will get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back a four link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars and as far as ride quality goes that is probably one of the first things i noticed when i hopped into the impala it is super smooth definitely absorbing pa's road imperfections very nicely in my drive today so very nice very smooth ride ride to the Impala without a doubt. Touching on steering feel, it is pretty much as expected. I would say it probably leans towards the looser side of steering, but certainly not bad though. Wouldn't have mind a little heavier of a feel to it, but definitely works well for the Impala. As far as cabin noise goes, it has been absolutely great. Very little exterior noise is coming into the cabin. I do have the uh, windshield defroster on right now, so if you do hear any noises, that's probably what you're hearing, but very little exterior noise is coming into the cabin, so that is definitely on point with the Impala and the thing is Impala has definitely been around for a while now so Chevy has had more than enough time to perfect this car so at this point in the very last year they're going to be making it this car is just about as perfect as it is going to get so that's definitely a plus there as far as the visibility goes I can see perfectly fine out the back certainly definitely no issues there so well done for visibility there and we actually do have an optional blind spot monitoring system on this one as well found in the side mirrors and optional for the LT but it is going to come with the Premier but I'll get a little more into safety later in the video but essentially what i'm saying is visibility overall is very nice but that about rounds up the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this new and final 2020 chevy impala all right and here she is you guys the 2020 chevy impala the final year let's go ahead and start by taking a look up front here the only difference as far as body styling wise up front versus the LT versus Premier is you will find two additional chrome bars in the lower portion of the front grille. If you were to go with the Premier, otherwise you will get what you are currently looking at right now with our LT that we have here today. As far as the headlight setup goes, halogen headlights are gonna come with the LT trim level. They will of course come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they're gonna turn on automatically for you there. 
also LED daytime running lights just below. They will come standard on both trim levels. And if you did jump up to the Premier trim level, you will find HID headlights up front up there as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. First thing I wanted to mention to you guys is chrome window surrounds will come standard on both trim levels, of course. Impala lettering found on both the driver and passenger side front doors. That's always a very high-end look to it. Speaking of high-end looks, this has always been there. I love this accent, this Impala logo on the back C pillar of the Impala. It definitely looks very nice. It makes it kind of stand out back there. So I am glad that Chevy has kept that through all these years. As far as the side mirrors go, let me jump up to the front here. Body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors will come standard with integrated turn signals. And all of that is standard on both trim levels actually. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the wheel setup. 18 inch alloy wheels with the LT, 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels with the Premier. And I do believe that about rounds out the side of the Impala. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the back. You will have that shark fin antenna located up top there, of course. Of course, making our way to the back, you will have trim level badging found on the right side there on the trunk. Rear spoiler is gonna actually be optional on both trims. However, it will not come standard on either trim, in case you were curious about that. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets, and you will get brushed chrome tips if you were to go with the Premier. Otherwise, if you went with the LT that we currently have today, you will simply find dual exhaust outlets. However, they will be tucked away underneath, in case you were curious. But nonetheless, you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back, as far as opening that rear trunk goes, there's a couple different ways. There is a button on the key fob, so simply go ahead and use that if you like. That's what I found to be the easiest. There is also a button by the driver's side left knee. That is yet another way you can go about opening that rear trunk. But once opened up, there is a ton of space back there. Cargo capacity is going to come in at 18.8 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, however, it should be. There is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space in addition to that, if you needed it. Did want to also mention in that cargo area, there is some LED lighting. I found that pretty cool. And there is a little bit of in-floor storage underneath that cargo floor as well, in case you needed it. But make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 39.8 inches. Very impressive once again. For reference, I am even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. And for those rear passengers, I did want to also mentioned they do have a rear center armrest with cup holders back there in addition to that rear ventilation as well rear ventilation is one of those things that definitely doesn't often come standard in sedans well sometimes it does but it is always nice having it since it does not always come standard in sedans but make our way up to the front seats eight-way power driver's seat with a cloth finish will come with the lt and it is kind of actually a mixture it's a cloth leather mixture so that is what you are currently looking at right now however if you were to go with the premier trim that is going to actually add an eight-way power adjustable passenger seat heated front seats as well and a perforated leather finish and ventilated seats are also available as an option as well we do actually have heated seats today as an option they are located just behind the shifter there so that's what you were currently looking at right there but now let's take a look at the steering wheel there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it is leather wrapped for both trim levels and it is available as an option a heated steering wheel is available actually for both trim levels if you wanted to go that route and when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Chevy logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch. And there actually is a remote start as well. That's the little circular button. But what I am going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right, engine tab fuel information is all the way to the top, and then front and center, there is a digital display, which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel. That's going to give you things like a digital speedometer, trip A, trip B, of course, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, also your MPGs at any given time, oil life remaining, so that's kind of handy because you'll find you can actually wait a lot longer than you think when you need your actual next oil chain so that's pretty cool tire pressure monitoring system and there's plenty of other stuff of course you could check out up there as well 
And take a look at overall interior quality. Dual zoom climate control is actually going to come standard with both trim levels. Wireless phone charger is going to come standard with the Premier. There is no sunroof for the LT. However, if you did want a sun or moonroof, a dual pane power sunroof is available for the Premier. And that is again for the Premier trim level only if you wanted to go that route. And I do like all the tan stitching found throughout just above on the top here. Also around the driver passenger armrest in the center there. So a lot of tannish orange stitching. It definitely makes it look very high. And just in front of the shifter, you have a little rubberized cubby area so things don't slide around there. 12 volt power outlet just behind that dual cup holders and I like the finishes around the cup holders as well it's a very nice design to it and actually that design is carried around the window buttons on the doors as well but it's a very cool design again just behind that you have some heated seat buttons another little cubby area and of course a center armrest with a very very bright light within that cargo area I love that a lot of times under that center armrest there's no illumination but there is in the Impala that is very bright light too that's pretty cool and there's a little rubberized tray area there as well and speaking of bright light there is LED interior lighting throughout the Impala as well. I mentioned it in the cargo area, but it actually continues to the rear seats and the front seats as well. So that was pretty cool to find that too. But let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on this one. 8-inch color touchscreen display will come standard with both trim levels. Bluetooth and audio streaming, also standard. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, same thing for both trim levels. And that's really nice because if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Impala. Therefore, you have free navigation through your smartphone, as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. There's a couple other compatible apps you could check out as well up on that screen. So that's definitely a plus. If you wanted a factory navigation system, although you don't really need it with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, if if you go with the Premier, that will come standard with the Premier trim level. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will find a six speaker sound system with the LT trim level. However, if you go with the Premier, you will find an 11 speaker Bose surround sound system. But that is, of course, not the one we have today since we have the LT. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning. And let's test out the six speaker sound system that we have here in our LT. <laughs> Actually, not that bad, you guys. I feel like I was going to lose my sunglasses there, but dang, this sound system was all right, especially considering it was this regular six speaker sound system. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. That was just fine for me, at least. But anyways, last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the Impala in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. So starting with safety, there is front side and side curtain airbags, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. It definitely doesn't always come standard in sedans. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also real child door locks back there as well. And I did want to mention if you were to go with the premier trim level, that is going to add a few things as well, including lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and rear park assist as well. Although I will say some of that is an option with the LT. We do have that blind spot monitoring system with the rear cross traffic alert here as well and if you wanted that option with the LT that is part of a driver confidence package that adds an additional $495 and so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video stay gold